So today we're gonna have a look over a very interesting IoT project called as Portable Weather Station and it got a lot of features as compared to the other similar projects. Like first of all, it's based on the e-paper display which not just look neat but saves a lot of power so we can run this weather station on battery for several days without charging. Secondly, it not just displays the current temperature and humidity data, rather it is loaded with a lot of information like current date and time, current location, sunrise and sunset time and even three days weather forecast which is insane moreover it got a built-in sensor with the help of which you can not just monitor the outside temperature but you can also visualize the real-time temperature and humidity data of your room when the project is installed so it's the perfect DIY project for your desk and now before going on to knowing how we built the project let me first thank the sponsor of today's video digikey Digikey is a global leader in cutting-edge component distribution of electronic components and automation products worldwide. They provide more than 15.9 million components from over 3,000 manufacturers with product in stock available for immediate shipment. Also, with their fast shipping and excellent customer support, you can always trust that your product will arrive on time and in top condition. So do remember to check out Digikey for your next project. Ok so now let me show you the schematic of this project and let's discuss some of the important components. So here's the complete schematic of our portable weather station project and here the main component is the ESP32 S3 Vroom chipset which as we all know got built in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support in it and this particular variant got built in 16 MB of flash. So that's the main controller and the Wi-Fi driver of the project. Secondly, we got the connector for attaching the e-paper display. So let me show you which e-paper display we are using. So here we are using this particular variant of the e-paper display which comes in three colors colors white red and black which is mentioned here and it got the resolution of 400 by 300 pixels or dots you can say and for the projects like the portable weather station e-paper display is kind of an ideal choice because as i said in the beginning it consumes very less power because it just need power to update the display and once it's updated it no longer need the power to display that same content on it so that is all about the e-paper display let us see what is the other major component then after that here we are also using a temperature and humidity sensor to monitor indoor temperature and humidity value and here is the model of that particular sensor and this sensor is very easy to interact as it works on the i2c protocol and the operating range is from minus 40 degrees celsius to 125 degrees celsius so that's the sensor which is integrated in our project other than that we also have this max 189 at battery charging ic which is used for charging the lithium based batteries and here the charging current is up to one 0.4 ampere which is really good now for the battery charging circuit here on board we also have the ldo the load dropout voltage regulator ic adp 124 let me show you specifications so here's that ic it is an 3.3 volt linear regulator ic and if i show you the data sheet then here as you can see that it is a very low dropout voltage of just 130 millivolt so whenever you want to get the 3.3 volt stable output voltage from a battery ldo is recommended and as this project also works on a battery, we are using a, a 3.3 volt LDO here. After that, here's the last component, which is the USB Type-C, which will be used for both programming and charging the battery. So that was all about the complete schematic. And after finalizing the schematic, we got the custom PCB printed. And later, after shouldering all the components on it, here is the final look of our project. And with this, we are done with the hardware part of the project. And now, let me take you to Arduino IDE and let me show you the code used in it. So here's the complete code used in our project. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty long code. And no, we haven't written it uh, from scratch. Rather, we took the reference of one GitHub repository. Let me show you. So here's that GitHub repository called as G -E, uh, G6EJD, which is basically from David. And he made an amazing uh, library for displaying the weather related information on an e-paper display. And it is not just limited to only uh, one kind of e-paper display. Let me show you a couple of images like uh, he have 
created the library, the UI for different, different types of e-paper display that can be uh, 800 by 480 pixels, that can be 640 by 384 pixels, that can be 400 by 300 pixels that uh, we are using right now. So the, as you can see, the UI is kind of same uh, as shown in this particular image and so on and so forth. We have several different kind of uh, layouts already prepared uh, in this particular library, which are ready to be used. Okay. So he has done some amazing work in this particular library and we took the uh, same code like the reference of this particular uh, repository for making our own project so now what i'll do i'll let you know the important uh, changes that to be made to make it work on your end and also uh, show you a couple of uh, things that we have added here to make it very very low power okay so first of all uh, you can go to config.h header library and this is the only header file that you need to change modify to make it work on your end other than that everything will be remain as it is first thing is SID name and password because definitely this project do require internet connectivity to get uh, to get the data then we need to get the api key from openweathermap.org so let's go to that website so here is that website and here you need to make your own account and after making the account you can go to the my api key section and here you can just type the name of the api key and click on the generate button and it will generate an API key for you which you need to copy it from here and later you just need to paste it here simple right later you need to provide the latitude longitude the city country and everything for that what you can do is you can go uh, here and just type the city name like open a uh, weather map got the data of almost all the city in the world so my city is Ahmedabad so I'll search for Ahmedabad and here you can see Ahmedabad India is available and here are the geo coordinates or the location coordinates you can say so you can provide that same latitude longitude here the city name content everything you can provide here all the details okay and here we are also using the NTP server to display the current date and time on the display so those are the important credentials that need to be changed as per your location uh, as per your account after that let's just go back to the desktop weather station like the main Arduino file and here we need to have a couple of libraries to be installed and those libraries which are needed to be installed the link is already provided here so you can just go to that link download the zip file and install it into your computer and here after declaring all the libraries the actual code start like initializing the sensor initializing the display uh, beginning the seal communication and everything so that particular thing is already explained in the comments now here i want to discuss one really important thing which is the power saving feature so what we have added here is uh, let me show you those uh, parameters so these three parameters will help you to save a lot of power first of all sleep duration so here it is mentioned as 30 which means the display will update after every 30 minutes okay you can change the time here as you want for a demo purpose we'll change it to once after every one minute uh, the display will uh, refresh and get the new data later uh, here we have the wake up time and sleep time so what is this so basically this project is meant to be put on a desk uh, where we can you know have a glance over what's the current weather what's the forecast everything in the daytime okay after midnight like after 12 generally we believe we go to sleep and we no longer uh, sitting on our desk so what we have done here is after 23 hours okay that means after 11 pm till uh, 7 am in the morning the display won't get updated to save way more power okay it will be in the sleep mode only it won't wake up okay so you can definitely change the time here this is a 24 hour clock by the way so you can change this 7 to maybe 5 am as well and you can change the 23 to let's say 20 this totally depends upon your use case okay but those variables are for that particular purposes and you can change it and you can play with it you can save the battery life as much as you want okay and after that the setup part begins and we are initializing the display we are displaying everything we are making the internet connected everything so basically all the lines of the code has proper commands on it so you can easily understand it and if i explain all the lines here i know i won't be getting that much watch time here people generally skip the code explanation part so let's keep it short and clips i just explained the important parameters i just explained what things you need to change and how to get all the credentials everything is explained okay and now it's time to upload the code for that you need to go to tools uh, into the boards and here you need to select the board as ESP32 S3 dev module after that just select the right com port well it's not showing let me just plug it out and plug it in once again okay so here is that right com port and after selecting both of them just hit the upload button and if you have done all the things correct well the code will upload without any error just to give the reference here i am using the esp2 boards package version 3.0.0 and the arduino id version 2.3.2 
Okay, so here the code is successfully uploaded and after uploading the code, when I powered up the display with the battery, as you can see, I started getting the data as expected. I'm getting the outside weather information from internet and also getting the indoor temperature and humidity value through the built-in sensor. So after that complete project, we also designed a 3D printed case for it and later after getting its 3D prints, we started assembling the hardware part inside the casing and later we also attached a stand on the back to put it at a rest position on our desk. And after assembling everything, here is the final look of our portable weather station. Isn't that look super cool on the desk? And that was all about today's video and yeah, that being said, Digikey.